How to carve a bat in the Belfry Pumpkin Lantern. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Irene Brooks, pumpkin carving expert and founder of the Pumpkin Carving Kit website, is going to show us how to carve a Halloween bat into a pumpkin. Warning This will involve using some very sharp tools. Consequently, pumpkin carving must always be done under adult supervision. Step 1 You will need a pumpkin, a pencil, some adhesive tape, a bowl, scissors, a little flour, a scoop or a spoon, a pointer or sharp tool to make holes in the pumpkin, and a small saw or a thin serrated knife. The special tools we're using come from Irene's pumpkin carving kit, but you can use alternatives. A tea light to bring the finished pumpkin lantern to life. You'll also need a template. You can either draw out your own or get one from the internet. Irene is using a template from her pumpkin carving kit. Step 2. The lid. Draw a keyhole shape around the top of the pumpkin. This will create the lid so it needs to be large enough to fit your hand through. The keyhole shape makes replacing the lid easy, ensuring you always get a good fit. Draw the shape using straight lines. This will be easier to cut around than a curved one. Use a saw tool or a serrated knife to cut around the line. Angle the knife in towards the centre of the pumpkin rather than straight down. This will prevent the lid from collapsing into the finished pumpkin. When you've cut all around the line, lift the lid. Slice off any stringy pieces from the underside into a bowl. Step 3. Get scooping. Remove any seeds and pulp from the inside with a scoop or a spoon. Have a bowl ready to put the mush in, or it can get messy. Keep scooping, scraping away the inside flesh until the wall of the pumpkin is about 3 cm thick all round. Step 4. The template. Cut from the point of each corner in towards the centre, just a couple of centimetres. This will help it bend to fit the rounded pumpkin shape. Use adhesive tape to place it in position. Then, carefully smooth the template over the pumpkins, tucking and folding the outer edges until the template fits. Step 5. Mark the design. Use a pointer or a similar sharp tool to prick holes around the black areas. These can be a couple of centimetres apart in straight lines, but must be closer together on the more intricate parts of the design. When you've outlined the entire pattern with holes, remove the bat template. Keep it nearby to check the pattern as you carve. Top tip. If the holes are difficult to see, rub a little flour in to highlight them. Step 6. Join the dots. With a back and forth motion, use a small saw or a serrated knife to join the dots. Always remove the smaller areas first. Start on the eye and wing shapes. Then move on to the belfry. When you're happy with the details, carve around the larger pieces. Be gentle and take your time, removing the unwanted pumpkin as you go. Don't try and slice your way through the flesh, stick to the soaring motion. Keep following the dotted outline until you've carved the entire design. Once all the pieces have been removed, the bat and belfry will be easy to see. Step 7. Light up. Light the tea light, place it at the bottom of the pumpkin and put the lid on. Always use a tea light in a pumpkin. A regular candle will burn too quickly and won't stay upright. The lit bat in the Belfry pumpkin will look most effective when placed in the dark. Have a look at Video Jug's How to Trick or Treat to make sure that you're thoroughly prepared for Halloween. Happy Halloween!